Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. And it's been a little while since I've actually recorded, so, um, yeah, apologies for that. And there's two things I hate in this world. Losing and myself. Therefore, I've created a Sword Soul deck with Destiny, Hero, Destroyer, Phoenix, and Force Rune, which is probably very similar to a lot of the ones online, but we move anyway. So, we've got some Tenyi Spirit cards, which are quite nice openers, especially when you control no effect monsters you can slam them down and they're just good to get other attributes in the graveyard for Arcanus Protoss and they also have some decent effects if you do go into Monk of the Tenyi which can also then further go into Shaman of the Tenyi if you're looking to res some very strong worm monsters. We then have our hand traps because I'm poor and don't have called by the grave we just run two Skullmeisters instead which are just slightly downgraded versions of called by the grave. Um, we've got our Destiny Hero included. There's, I know some people rather run um, Malicious and... What's the other one called? Let's have a little check, shall we? Not Destiny. I am not dyslexic. Um, Denier. I know Denier and Malicious are quite popular combos as well, but we're running Dasher and Celestial because Celestial's good draw power and Dasher's quite good for just getting something out when it comes into your hand. Um, the Moye is probably the most important of the Sword Soul monsters because it's quite easy to get its extra card off and when it's synchro summoned you get to just draw a card which is really nice. Ty is quite nice as well because it can get extra monsters into your graveyard which works quite well with Protoss. And uh, incredible, yeah this, this lady, this person, yeah, um, they're just quite nice for going through into something else. And they can go into Fallen of Albaz as well, which means that, you know, that's something else you can run. And, um, might actually tempt to mix it up and add in Fallen of Albaz. But anyway, um, yeah, we've got our other Sword Souls and Tenyi monsters. Obviously, Protoss, ridiculously good, because you can just lock out an attribute from both players. And if you choose Dark, it doesn't affect him whatsoever. We've got Regeki and Harpy's Feather Duster just for complete board controls. We've got Monster Reborn just because I didn't really know what else to run and don't have that many hand traps created. Uh, two copies of Fusion Destiny for Destroyer, Phoenix and Forcer. Three copies of Potter Prosperity because drawing. Same with Sword Soul Emergence. Sacred Summit's alright for just resurrecting Sword Soul monsters, but it's not not the best, I guess. I mean it's, it's pretty good if you um if you've lost Proto somehow and you have a Synchro monster, but yeah, no, not great. We've got Mirror Force, Magic Cylinders, just to kind of spook out the opponents here and there. And Blackout to work with Protoss, because uh, Protoss can't be destroyed by card effects, so you can choose Protoss and then destroy two cards from your opponent's side of the field. The extra deck, I'd say everything that's an ultra rare is quite important to run, except maybe Stardust Dragon. Stardust Dragon isn't really that necessary, or Dingursu, to be honest. Um... <laughs> And then we've got just some more Tenyi Yangzing monsters just because it makes the deck up. But yeah, let's get on with the video because I've waffled enough. So our first match here is against a Blue Eyes player. That's right. They've got Blue Eyes, White Dragon cards, but I don't think they actually ever play Blue Eyes itself. So they open up with Sage into the White Stone of Legend. Uh, trade in to get rid of the Blue Eyes to draw two more cards. Well, they get Nebula Dragon. And guess what else they get? A second Nebula Dragon. So, from here you're thinking it's a pretty pretty solid start, you know. Going into number 97 as well. Very good. Especially as going into something which has something attached to it. Meaning that they've basically got one Spell Negate already. Which can really mess us up. Because obviously Fusion Destiny is quite critical for uh, Destroyer Phoenix and Forza. And Sword Soul Emergence is also really good for getting out Protoss, which basically just ruins their entire board. But anyway, we open up with a Tenyi Spirit, just it's nice to go for. We go for this so we can go into Mo Ye, because Mo Ye is absolutely astonishingly good because of how it gives you draw power. As well as this one that I will butcher the name of, uh, Shi Shao. Let's go Shi Shao. Um, so you get to draw one card and then afterwards you draw a Sword Soul card of your choice. Here we go with Sword Soul Attire just because it means that we can get more attributes in our graveyard. Which plays out quite well for Arkness Protoss. We go into Baron de Fleur here. 
because it has negate abilities and can pop a card on their side of the field, which we use to get rid of number 38, because now we can use spells freely. And all of a sudden their board becomes a lot more open, because we can get out Protos pretty much for free, just banishing a few cards in the grave. Get rid of all dark monsters except Protos, and now we've got enough to just completely swap, sweep their floor. So they had a very strong board, and we didn't even have to use Fusion Destiny, even though we had it, of course. Next we have a match which lasted a lot longer um, against a basketball, our greatest opponent yet. Um, so they are playing Plunder Patrol. I remember this game but also don't remember it because I remember this was my first ever game against Plunder Patrol and I just didn't know what to expect. So even now I probably couldn't tell you what half the cards do. I mean, Salamangrate is quite a popular card anyway to run, but, you know, it's not really related to the mighty Plunder Patrols. So, yeah, I went into this just thinking, okay, let's just play our combos and see what happens. So, we open with Pot of Prosperity, which banishes a bunch of our uh, extra deck cards, which is very helpful for uh, Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign, because it gives him more power. We go for Ten Ye Spirit, because... We wanted to get a monster out, specifically a worm monster out. We go into Monk of the Tenyi, because now we have a normal monster on the board, and can try and return this to the extra deck, which I thought would have completely stopped them, but no, not really. They have an Ash Blossom, you know, typical hand traps, but I think what annoyed me here when I was first playing was that they started with two Ash Blossoms in hand and an effect failure. I was thinking, okay, what the hell's going on? <laughs> How many hand traps do you want? They had three hand traps and still managed to get out their ultra rare Thunder Patrol card and their ultra rare field spell. So obviously my blood was boiling at this point, especially seeing them just tip another ultra rare into the graveyard. But this is when I think they start doing the funky stuff that really confused me about how the attribute works. I thought here, oh hang on, I'll just get rid of these cards and it's basically a board sweep. What are they going to be able to do? But then I didn't realise how heavy these guys work in the graveyard to do stuff. So, Plunder Patrol keeps on plundering, as you can see. And from the looks of it, the majority of their monsters are water, but then these cards start to change attributes, which means that Protoss is a bit of a weird one trying to get around these. But anyway... We see they can't have a hand trap this time, so our Sword Soul Emergence can't be negated. But we did draw into Moye, which is also very nice. Allowing us to go into, I think, Xi Xiao, yeah. And with Xi Xiao, obviously, it's the double draw here of just draw a card and then draw a Sword Soul Monster. You always activate Moye as Chain Link 2 in case you draw something that you want and then it messes up your Xi Xiao. But yeah, I didn't want to have to do this but I wanted to get out a rank 10 or level 10 even synchro so I had to discard the emergence but as you can see this card is buff at the moment completely buff and now I thought from here it would just be an instant concede however I do believe they try and actually throw it back on us so I thought negate their first monsters effect that'll do it that's gotta give me the win and it does. I forgot <laughs> I forgot it did, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, a 5,000 attack Supreme Sovereign just completely bossed over Plunder Patrol. Right, and for the final game of today, we were up against Despia, and they even had the matching Mech Knight board because, you know, we're different, we're cool. And once again, Fusion Destiny is in the starter hand. I think I do actually play it this game, unlike the others, but um, yeah, we'll have to see. So, because they have a monster and we don't, we can special summon this young lady and go into Moye, reveal one of our boss cards. Oh, actually, I'm starting to think that we don't go into Destroyer, because if we go into Protoss, Destroyer doesn't really click with it very well. But, um, yeah, we get along our combos anyway. Getting our draw power for our hand trap because we're too cheap for Call by the Grave. 
Um, for now at least. Get these cards down here. So we've got we've got our, our main sword star monsters. I summon this in defense because I didn't believe I could take them down this turn. And because of that, I just thought, yeah, it's much safer to just put it in defense and keep that going. I think they negate Protoss' effect here anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, because they negate the effect, I can actually go into destroy a Phoenix Enforcer. And here we go. There he is. The card that makes everyone hate this game. Slash love it, I guess. But yeah, we go in for our attacks. And as you can see, if this was an attack mode, we could have done a lot more damage. But at the same time, we wanted to play around Lightning Storm. Yeah, see, like... It was very lucky that we caught them having it. But they played their Lightning Storm and Kreese had nothing left to do. So they just gave up. <laughs> right, well, that's going to end the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, like, subscribe, and surrender to me if you see me on matchmaking, please. Oh, I want to climb the ranks. But yeah, take care.